Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be a pick a card for Do You Have a Protection Guardian? Yes or No? Today we have three piles, pile one, pile two, and pile three. Take a deep breath, choose from the heart, choose the pile you were drawn to the most. And we're going to get started with pile number one. Alright guys, if you chose this pile, pile one, do you have a protection guardian? Yes or no? These are general messages, so keep that in mind. Personal reading, moonlightshadows1111 at gmail.com. You can email me. Info's in the description box below. Take what resonates. Please like and subscribe. So let's see. Yes, you do have a protection guardian. Right off the bat, this protection guardian is this energy up here. Watching with a bow and arrow. This protection guardian protects your heart space. Also, anyone who is trying to cause conflict, playing mind games, people who are gossiping or are trying to deceive you. This protection guardian is with you. You have many other energies that you connect with, especially if someone is trying to play with your heart, someone who is not genuine or authentic with you. This could be someone that you love or care about. I feel like this protection guardian is showing you the truth about people around you. You see who really is there for you, who are the good friends, whether it's a relationship or not. But it's like trying to figure out who's, who's someone you can trust, who's someone you cannot trust. This protection guardian is showing you the truth. I'm also getting you have a protection guardian that you used to love. For some of you, this could be a passed away person who's passed away that was either your husband or significant other. But for the most part, I'm seeing your protection guardian is some type of a spirit guide or otherworldly energy that protects your heart space. Um, with the Queen of Wands, you're very gifted with Paimon, um, very strong king energy. Um, and it says here, you know, teaches arts and sciences, tells anyone, tells anything one desires to know, can make any man subject to one's demands. So it's like this person, this protection guardian, and it's all associated with love. So you could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Gemini. You don't have to be, but it's like you're a strong empath. You're very connected. You're sensitive to energies, but it's like this guardian is watching you. And if someone is trying to hurt you, then this person will take action to show you the truth here of who that is they will target that person with that bow and arrow some of you guys might be sagittarius is what i'm picking up here uh, or the archer which is sagittarius also like athena like this person this protection guardian will basically come out of its like hidden space towards you to protect you and it will go after whoever is trying to harm you or cause some type of chaos in your life so yes pal one also good you could have like a greek goddess or you could be um from greek descent or you may have that um in your like dna is what i'm getting something about greece um but i am getting here that you definitely have a protection guardian and yes they are protecting you they're watching kind of like your bodyguard is what i'm getting because they're ready to shoot that arrow they're ready to charge towards whoever is trying to cause conflict in your life so yes pal one you definitely have a protection guardian i hope that was helpful for you three 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 angel number um you could be the September baby, because number nine, the number six, but that's also as above, so below. We have seven, which would be um July. So those numbers could be significant for you, but I do feel like you definitely have a protection guardian. All you have to do is ask them to help you, to show you who your enemies are, show you who's really there, who really cares about you, whether that's family, friends, or love. But this protection guardian is here. All you have to do is reach out and they will come to help you. All right, so that's what I have for you. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if this was helpful. And we're going to get started with pile number two. Hey, pile two, if you chose this pile, this is your reading. Do you have a protection guardian, yes or no? Take what resonates. This is a general message for personal reading, moonlightshadows1111 at gmail.com. Info's in the description box below. All right, so let's get started. Do you have a protection guardian, yes or no? Okay, so first off, no is what I'm getting. Um... I don't feel you have a protection guardian. You have a higher power, is what I'm saying here. Yeah, you could literally have um, uh, an archangel. You have an angelic protection. It's not so much like a guardian where it's like a spiritual guardian. You have, with regards to like a guide or past loved one, you actually have an archangel. I'm really getting like Ariel, Michael, Uriel, Raphael. Like you have a strong angel that protects you. Um, because they've seen how sad you've been so they're trying to bring healing to your space so no you don't have a protection guardian with the eight of cups it's like this angel is here 
to bring healing. I'm really getting Raphael, Gabriel, or Michael. These are the archangels. If you have archangels that are healing you from a love situation or from, it doesn't have to be love of another person. It's more of like self-love. You could be in this Five of Cups energy with regret about something or you need to walk away from the past or you've let go of the past but you're still sad about a situation. You wish things could have gotten better. You may be um, very emotional because there's a lot of cups here. But I feel like, and with the tower, you could have experienced something very unexpected. So I don't feel you have a protection guardian. You actually have an archangel. You have God. You have the universe. You have a higher power protecting you here. I'm also getting Metatron with the lightning bolt. So take what resonates. But I feel like you don't have a protection guardian. You have an archangel. You have angelic. You have angels. Angelic protection is what I'm seeing here for you, Pao too so this energy though that you have is to help you heal to release whatever has happened maybe retrograde is really like affecting you you need to call in your angels your archangels to bring in that light because you have this beautiful light within you but you're not seeing it because you're in this sadness so you need to walk away from this sadness Maybe going to the ocean or hearing the sound of water can be healing for you. but Or take a spiritual bath or shower because it's like cleanse away that negativity. Because you have this beautiful angel here who is guiding your yin and yang, masculine and feminine. Because of something sad that you experienced, you may be like stressed out, anxiety. Some of you guys could have depression. I, I hope that's not the case. But whatever you're sad about, you have angels here that want to put their wings of protection around you. For some of you, I'm getting Isis, so that's goddess Isis, not a protection guardian, so to speak, but goddess Isis, because there's this Egyptian energy, so I'm feeling more like you guys need tiger's eye to get motivated, because you could be stuck in a rut, or you're in a funk right now, because of retrograde, it's really affecting your mental space, and you need to see how beautiful you are, and even here, it's like, they're looking back, but they have like this beautiful mirror. If you could just see how beautiful you are is what I'm getting. This energy here. This is what you need to leave behind. Something in your life could have died, like figuratively speaking. Not literally, I hope. Definitely not literally, but something ended. And it's hard for you to process this. And three, four, five, you're taking steps to heal from it. You're going to be fine. You will find the energy of love within yourself again with this lover's card. You will find love of self. You've let that tower fall. Something that's happened is very hard for you to deal with. You're at a crossroads is what I'm getting. But I feel like you're going to release whatever this is. You're going to walk away with the Eight of Cups. You're going to be fine, pile two. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Ask your angels to protect you. And to just take away this sadness that you're experiencing because it's not going to be like this forever. The number 16, the number 6, or the 5, or the 8 could be significant for you. But I send you many blessings, Pile 2, and lots of healing energy from your angels, your archangels, to protect you, the wings of Isis, to shield you. Because you need to raise your vibration and then you will... Go through a spiritual level up, 444, you are protected, and then you will have protection guardians. Because you are meant to have more energies on your spiritual team, but you need to heal your vibration within your aura, okay? So let me know if that was helpful. If you need chakra healing, you can also reach out. I will help you with that if you feel guided to do so. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if this was helpful. Thank you for watching. We're going to get to pile number two. Hey, pile two. So this is going to be your reading. Do you have a protection guardian? This is a general message, so take what resonates. You have the queen of pentacles. Yes, you do. You have many protection guardians. You may work with different deities or energies, but you do have a protection guardian that you connect with in your dream state or when you meditate or through sound. And this energy is highly connected to your crown chakra. So some of you may channel this energy and it brings you a lot of happiness. It's like an inner connection. You have, um, some of you guys may have the sun god Ra for some, but I do feel like this is a very strong protection energy here. You do have a protection guardian. You have an angel. 
um, very beautiful, peaceful, happy energy that surrounds you. It protects you from anyone who is trying to take your money because the Seven of Swords is underneath the Queen of Pentacles. So it protects your blessings. It heals you in every way, shape, and form. It's like you may have Andromalias for some of you, which is a, a Galatia spirit that will protect you and your money. So if anyone's trying to steal from you, Andromalias will show you who you're who the thieves are, who the liars are, who's trying to take from you, it reveals, he reveals the truth, I'm saying he because he's showing his masculine here, but the four of swords also standing guard, watching, protecting your happiness, making sure that no one's going to disrupt your joy, with the two of pentacles, if someone is trying to play mind games, I'm getting, maybe you guys have someone around you who's very narcissistic or secretly wishes bad, um, because it says reconciles friends and enemies, so you could have someone, they may be a Sagittarius or a Leo, or they could just have that fiery energy, where this person could be very focused on causing disruption in your life, because they know if you're not happy, then you are not high vibrational, and then you can't manifest, so this person tries to purposely play mind games, but I feel like you do have a Galatia spirit here watching with the eyes, it's like you may have a spirit, um, familiar that's an animal that you don't like is what i'm getting or this is an otherworldly familiar 222 that will restore balance and we have the two of pentacles so yes whoever's trying to disrupt your peace these energies are watching they're standing guard the eyes are very strong in these cards so and off with their head is what i'm getting with the orias the hierophant so it's like finds favor transforms men with dignity so it's like they show you who these people are who your enemies are and this could be someone you love but i'm also getting if it's a false friend or a fake frenemy you know like i'm hearing frenemy you guys have someone around you who smiles in your face talks shit behind your back they act like they're all for your success and in reality they're wishing you the worst they wish they were you they have this jealousy energy it could be a taurus Virgo, capricorn sagittarius Lots of pentacles, so it's about a money situation. With the king of cups, though, I feel like your protection guardian with 13 um, literally is going to end these connections. Taking out the people that are haters, that are not right for you, 3, 2, 1, exactly, like sending back that negative energies. You guys could do reversals, causes all the love that may be both of men and women. So this protection guardian makes sure that you only have people who have your highest good, that really care about you. They're protecting the people that are your soul family, your soul tribe. Like Those are the ones that stay, and the ones that are not meant for you, your protection guardian is getting rid of them. They're also helping you stand guard. You could have a familiar, the cat, the frog, this, I don't know what this is, but it's like there's some type of weird creature but it's like, uh, it's your familiar, it's a, like a spirit animal, but it's not a normal animal, it's like got weird stuff, right, like look at this, it's got weird legs, it kind of looks like a spider, but then it's like three-headed, so you may have like a three-headed dragon, or three-headed dog, or, um, I don't know, there's something here that protects you, it could be, um, Hecate has sent you protection guardian, it's like, I'm getting different messages, because it's a, a whole, like, world here, different people, a lot of people pick pile three so i'm reading for different groups but control i heard causes the weather so controls the weather rain and lightning cures or causes pestilence so i heard curses so it's like if someone is trying to control your life cause instability harm you curse you do something negative this protection guardian sends that negative energy back 444 they protect your blessings they help you stay in your power they help protect your energy they will cause lightning and destruction on your enemies if someone's trying to harm you this protection or i heard army so some of you guys may have like the army of anubis or some spiritual army here um they protect you they fight for you they protect your energy your gifts they heal you if someone is trying to make you ill in any way shape or form all of that negativity is like completely gone away from you you have a strong shield some of you guys i'm getting the morning star the sun lucifer fallen angel for some of you for others of you you do have a fallen angel pile three. I really do see that. This is an angel here, but I'm getting these wings are dark. So you could have like Lilith or another fallen angel. I did mention Andromalius and these are all Galatia spirits. So, I mean, you may or may not resonate with these, but I'm really strongly getting Andromalius here. Lord, I heard Lord Lucifer for those who connect with that. 
I'm also hearing Ra, an Egyptian energy. I heard Hecate. I heard um, the Baron, Papa Legba. Like, you guys have so much energies here. You may have archangels, an army of angels. I mentioned Anubis, so you guys may have, like, Egyptian energies. And they're sending you their protection guardians because you work so closely with these deities. But at the end of the day, yes, you do have protection. And they are protecting your stability. Whether that's abundance, spiritual abundance, or material abundance, but you are protected. You even have Ma'at here with the scales, like, you know, judging who is real, who is false. And they are showing you who these people are. They're showing you your enemies, even though it hurts sometimes is what I'm getting. Because even here, like this face, it kind of looks like this person. This energy is almost giving me like a shocked reaction, like, oh my god. Like, it's the person you least thought had bad intentions and they're the ones that wish you harm and you're like what like you had no idea you're disappointed in this it's shocking like you can't believe it but at the same time whoever's trying to stab you with these hooks this energy here taurus Virgo, capricorn energy they're taking those hooks they're removing that i'm hearing they're taking the, cat, the cats out of the bag they're taking that rat out of your house like whoever it is in your space that's not for you they're being removed because you were meant to be happy you're a healer and that's your life purpose you're meant to have abundance that libra is here as well there's so many signs you guys but it's like with the zodiac signs but the overall message is yes because you have a beautiful light you're meant to be successful and this protection guardian or guardians because i feel like you have so many energies pile three they're all like your army, they're your team, they're fighting for you to protect you, your abundance, your success, and they're closely guarding you, so whoever's trying to harm you, this protection guardian will not let them be successful. You're protected, you are claiming back your power with Baal, the Emperor, and with Beleth, the Knight of Cups, it's like your love of yourself is always going to be there you have a beautiful light you have like a pink aura or a white aura but it's like your energy is so pure and divine that you have so many energies here and no one who's a hater can take that from you so that's what i have for you pal three let me know if that resonates please like and subscribe also getting if you're a reiki healer you have energy work or energy healing through your hands use that energy towards yourself to shield because it will um, also create that like a barrier a boundary of protection for you all right, so that's what I have for you. I send you many blessings. I hope you like this. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, thank you. Bye.